Well, both the Pennsylvania House and Senate are back in session this week. The first both have been back in session in Harrisburg since the month of July. Yeah, and our Pennsylvania State Capitol correspondent, Kara Jeffers, is live to give us an update on what we can expect lawmakers to get done in the next few weeks. Good evening, Kara. Good evening, Mike and Eva. It has been a bustling day here, although things have finally quieted down. Now we have all of our lawmakers, whole General Assembly, back in business, and they're planning to stay in business for most of October. They're taking a break during uh, Columbus Day, kind of that week, but otherwise they will be in session. Now the week started with two new members of the House being sworn into office. This came as two representatives from Philadelphia resigned during the summer, so special elections were held in September to fill those spots. Now with barely a month left till the election, lawmakers are pushing through low stakes bills. House Democrats and Senate Republicans were able to pass a bipartisan budget earlier this summer, but several lobbyists and spokespersons I'm speaking with say they're not likely to work on any other notable laws. One area that advocates want to see is an increase to public transit funding. At a rally today, Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis spoke, showing that the Shapiro administration is continuing their support for that action. Transit is critical to our economy. Yes. It's critical to keeping people moving to the appointments that are important to them. We recognize that we have to invest in mass transit here in Pennsylvania. Now, Senate Republicans want to increase transit funding with transportation funding in general. Senate Democrats and Democrats in general say that any uh, update to transit is going to be the best that we can do. In Harrisburg, I'm going to be keeping you posted with what we do get done. I'm Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now.